Welcome to the how-to series for TELUS Business Connect for multi-level IVR with Premium and Premium Plus editions. Two things need to be done before activating the IVR system. You must have at least one IVR menu programmed before proceeding. Multi-level IVR is turned off by default. You must activate the feature, then point the IVR to the initial menu you have just created. Remember, the key to an efficient menu tree is to design it from the bottom up and build it from the top down. While logged in as the system administrator, proceed to phone system programming. The first thing that you need to do is check your company numbers and info and examine how they route through the system. Any company number can be pointed to the IVR by simply clicking on the telephone number, then clicking on select an extension, then selecting the IVR menu to respond to that number as it becomes its answer point, then click Save. Anything that sits inside company numbers has two choices, and those are the same choices for DIDs, Auto Receptionist or Select an Extension. The local company number is fixed. It is directed to the Auto Receptionist. Its routing is controlled by Auto Receptionist Company Call Handling. Once you have the phone number selected and pointed to the IVR, proceed to the next step. In Auto Receptionist, we will start with Company Hours. This will build your routing based on Company Working Hours. After Hours routing is anything outside this time frame. The Working Hours menu is based on your office working hours. You would select your working hours from the drop-down menu, whatever they may be. Then copy them to the days of the week that apply. If you're open seven days a week, then you would also select Saturday and Sunday. Once selected, click Save. Then move down to Company Call Handling and confirm your selection for calls during company hours. The After Hours menu routing is done the same way. Save this setting. Now we will move to Multi-Level IVR Programming. In the Prompts area, we will record our prompts from scripts that have already been written. You can record the prompts using a telephone, a computer USB microphone, or import the prompts that have been professionally recorded. Now let's go to the Visual IVR Editor. Let's begin with Select a New Tree Menu. We will start with two additional menus for our Eastern and Western Office. We will also add a direct transfer for our accounting department. Now, let's add a message mailbox for directions to our office. And another for general delivery mailbox. Let's add a choice for an external transfer to our off-site sister company. Finally, let's add a directory link. And an operator transfer. Let's go back to the Eastern Office menu and add a couple of transfer points for sales and service. and we will add an operator transfer point there as well. You can add similar transfer points to the Western menu. Inside each of the menu points, there are options for setting language, navigation control, 
you can also set text-to-speech to simulate recordings. This is a great way for testing the tree system. Let's add the recorded prompts that we have in our prompt library to the three menu points. Press the Settings button under the menu. Select the prompt file to use for that menu. Let's repeat this for the other two menus. Now that the tree is built, let's save it. Turning to Phone System Programming, navigate to General IVR Settings. Here, you have options for navigation control as well as the No Action by Caller option. Select where you would like callers routed when they do not dial during the menu prompts. Finally, let's verify your regional settings. This is where your company hours coincide with the time zone that your company resides in. For example, if your company is on the West Coast, select Pacific Time. Your auto receptionist is now fully functional. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more how-to videos.